There was even a time fall shelter here. There was something like a post box there, maybe? No, that one's too far. So we'll get off here then. And head towards where we saw it. Where was it? I'll put a marker on here. Hold on. Remove everything, put a marker on the zip line, and also put a marker on the photographer. For the photographer, we can directly make a line too, if that's okay. A thousand meters away. Not too bad. We have both sides of this, right? Yes. You can faintly see a rainbow in the distance there. I don't like that. <laughs> so there's a zip line. The amount of Cairo bandwidth we have here is... No, I think we're pretty good. Yeah, maybe later on we're not gonna use zip lines that often anymore because of the landforms. But here, in the mountains, it's really, really good for traveling. So if we're gonna be spending time building zip lines anywhere, it should be here. It can connect to my other one, too. That's good. Then even if it doesn't connect to that one directly, we can route around. Sorry about the music, but did I connect to the wrong one? Oh, there's just another one right there. Oh no, it doesn't connect! Oh, that's a really big shame. The further one was the one I meant to connect to. What do I do now then? Should I dismantle something then? Because that one can't reach over here. Yeah, that one's more like it. What a shame. But without the one over there, it's not like I could connect to this one either, I don't think.
Yeah. Oh well. But we'll just walk down. Wow, that might be the first time we've had a song play out in the fall. Okay, hold on. Normally I would go that way and go directly to the photographer, but I do want to make sure that this connects. That this one connects to that one on the hill. Because that's an important thing to make sure of, especially if it's not going to take too much trouble from us anyway. Good, it does. Okay. Now I do see a timefall shelter over the bridge here. If we can use that to get rid of the rain, then that would be pretty dang good too. Definitely wouldn't say no to that. But how long is that gonna take me? <laughs> Quite a bit of time, might not be worth it. Yeah, okay, in that case, why don't we just walk? the river. <laughs> Ooh, I definitely gotta drink some monster energy quickly. Wow, we drank like half the thing. That was a lot. Unfortunately, this time we had a small bump along the way. So the photos might be kind of messed up. Here? Okay, in that case, it might be good for us to use the timefall shelter. But we might not be able to, because there's BTs around here, right? No, we're fine. Hmm. Okay, I passed the time by 15 minutes. I don't think this is gonna clear. Not for a long time. Yeah, let's just keep going then. Kinda scary. Uh, I don't like this. Every single time I pass the time, <laughs> something started deteriorating. That really scares me too, because it feels like maybe if I don't pass the time, they deteriorate slower. Like, because you know how every single time we press that, we do it by 10 minutes? But it feels like if I just pass those 10 minutes normally, then the deterioration doesn't go as fast? I'm not sure though. I just kind of feel that way. Well, look at this. There's so much old stuff here. There was definitely some kind of building here before. We're trying to go over there. And if we can continue the zip line, then of course, that is absolutely necessary. 
We can still move a bit forward right now, though, so we'll be fine. But we do have to go a bit slower if possible because we can't see where the BTs are. Oh my gosh! That was incredible timing. Let's see if it likes us again. See? Look at that. It did it again. Three for three. That's not a coincidence. Oh. This is the edge of the network. Did I build this? I built that one too? How come I don't remember building any of these? <laughs> oh no no, those were the ones from earlier. Where are we now? We're here. And the closest one is... This one. Can I not build it already? If I go back a little bit. Where's the border? Here. Yeah, so we can still go forward by about another 70 meters. Mm, why don't we forego it for now then? Wait till we connect to the photographer first. Especially because I want to build it on this hill here to maximize elevation. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, no. Go, go, Sam, go! Get out of here! You want me to use a mana grenade? Oh, no. That wasn't good for the delivery. Yeesh. It's so close. Because you have to get really close to be able to cut their umbilical cord, right? So between getting close enough to cut the cord versus getting found out, it's a really, really small gap. And that time we messed up. But now we know for sure. Even if we can't see it, there's BTs around. The container is not doing so good, but the damage is still okay. Let's try to make this quick if we can. But we can't. That's the problem, because if I go too fast, then I miss the prompt to cut the umbilical cord. All I can do is pretty much have my hand hovering over the button to make sure I get it as soon as the prompt comes up. But other than that... Maybe a bike would be a better bet here. But even for the bike, if you want to avoid the BTs, you have to know where they are first. If you ram head into one, then it's still not gonna help. Gotta get over the hill. I'm not sure how effective the gloves are. I did notice that. When we were falling and stuff, it seemed like we were doing better. Look at the bottom of my bag. That gigantic handprint. Oh my lord. Do we have to get over the hill or can I walk over it? Probably faster for me to walk over it. I do have the gloves, so it shouldn't be too bad. And I think I want to drink a little bit more, too. Feels like my stamina is pretty low. Mmm! Whoa, this place looks kind of fancy. Wait, are we out of the BT area already? 
I can't even tell because we don't have the scanner. <laughs> I think we are though. Oh, maybe it's because we got the encounter earlier. So temporarily, all of them went away. Oh, very nice. Although, who are you displaying it for? People like you aren't really expecting anybody to visit you, right? Come on, Sammy boy. Ugh. I mean, nice, nice photos, I guess, but not the one with the rainbow. Don't want to see that. Sorry about the damage. Delivering cargo. You're from Bridges, right? You don't have anything else for me, do you? Do you want the Cupid? No. Okay. Never mind. Never thought I'd receive a delivery in such excellent condition. It's just four percent damage. You know, there's a hole on the photo, but it's okay. Maybe a corner got bent. Hey, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And not long ago, I found something, something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for, even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion, someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men and I panicked, dropped everything and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me, but when I stopped running, I realized the camera was gone, case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered that the cargo tag was still on the case. And I figured, you being with bridges and all, that you might have a way to pinpoint its location. Please, I'd give anything to have it back. I'm gonna put in the order. Please understand, that camera means everything to me. Until I know it's safe, I can't think about anything else. Oh my god. There's a terminal there you can use if you want to get started right away. Here. It's what I'd take if I were going myself. Knock yourself out. This woman was half a sentence from saying, Unless if you do this order for me, I'm not going to join the network. Well, fair enough, it's important to you. You can't think about anything else. Is it the... That's what I thought. It's the people right here. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. We do have a bola gun, but not enough. Um. Oh, because I didn't really take any equipment with me. I don't think I did. All I have is one bola gun. Just one. And then armor plates, which is good here. But I don't have guns. I have a stun bomb. Is 24 shots of a bola gun gonna be enough? I'm a little bit worried, but maybe that means I'll just have to make every hit count. <laughs> oh god, that's kind of scary, but um... Okay, and you're gonna make it annoying for me too, because if you're not gonna connect to me, then... I can't build a zipline network back to you just yet. Ah, <sighs> why'd you all gotta be like that? I can't even deliver the lost cargo, oh my gosh. The job is to retrieve a lost camera and deliver it to the photographer's shelter. The client claims she dropped it while attempting to evade a group of armed men, presumed to be terrorists. 
Fortunately, the camera was in a tagged case, meaning your cargo scanner should lead you right to it. It's possible, however, that the terrorists found it first. If you don't find anything in the area where the case was dropped, you'll have to head to their hideout. I'm pretty sure we had a wash tower here. Yep. So we'll just go over there, look at it, and we'll probably be able to find it. Yeah, the good thing is, this area is... It doesn't seem too big. There's two barracks. One. Two? Maybe that's gonna mean there's not that many mules around here. Let's hope so anyway. Oh, yes, thank you. You were gonna give me stuff. Wonderful. Riot shotgun. Non-lethal. Semi-automatic semi shotgun that fires rubber buckshot. The shot spreads as it flies, making it easy to hit nearby targets. A shot from close range can easily knock a target unconscious or cause severe impact damage, making this an ideal close quarters weapon. Okay. All on my back. PCC. Can make a post box. Bowl again would be nice. Do I need that many things though? What about the smoke grenade? Still haven't gotten a chance to try that yet, I don't think. But I'm carrying a lot on me now. And do I need all these armor plates? Well, if they're gonna start shooting at me, then probably. Yeah, okay. The cargo that we have on us, we can probably drop it off here. Container spray. Hopefully it's not raining anymore. Oh, this is a pretty... There's only 49 units left, though. Ladders, climbing anchors, don't need these. PCCs? I don't think we even need PCCs for now. Just beef up. With fighting in mind. All terrain? Yeah, I'll keep using that. I don't even know where I put my power skeleton anymore. Probably back in Mountain Not City. Carrying tons of weapons with me today. We should be good. Alrighty then. One PCC? Guess I'll have one. And I'll put the Bola gun here. Instead. And none of this counts as cargo, right? I hope not. I don't think so, because I don't want them detecting me. But probably what's gonna happen is they're gonna detect me and we're gonna fight. Because let's face it, stealth is not happening. Hopefully we don't have to go past the BTs again, but I don't know about that. Let's get to the wash tower first. Is it still raining here? You know how this lady seems to be a photographer because her father used to be one? I wonder if that kind of thing happens a lot in the post-Death Stranding world. Because everyone's stranded underground with nothing to do. So if my father was an engineer, then I'm gonna grow up in this household that only has engineering stuff around everywhere. And I'd probably become an engineer myself then, huh? That might have the unintended consequence of making everyone really specialized in certain things, but overall, I just feel like eventually all of our human knowledge is gonna drain away because if we're all stuck underground, then we can't get new knowledge. We can't really exchange information with anybody else and all that. And that's one big reason for why we want to set up this whole chiral network to begin with. Humans are social creatures and all that. Same thing with a mountaineer. If this lady let me connect to her, then it would make my life so much easier, but she didn't. So now we gotta trek back again without the zip line. This lady's location is not that bad though. It's remote, but it's not really on a mountain. And the mountain's not snowy either, which is good. Oh, 
There you go. We can see the watchtower from here already. Good. Yeah, there's it's like a little mini base here. There's so many things. Generators, ladders, bikes, post boxes. My shoes aren't even that worn out because I've been using so many zip lines the whole time. And now that we're here, we're gonna have to use some weapons. What do I want out? Mm, I do want to try out the shotgun just to try it out, but we're not going to be that close to them to begin with. So maybe we'll start off with the non-lethal assault rifle. We have two. I mean, if possible, I'd love to just start up with stealth, but <laughs> we know how well that goes all the time. I think so far, I've only ever done stealth on like less than three mules successfully in like our second encounter. Okay, now I gotta be careful about the pinging. I'm watching that little pinging thingy there. If I get close to it, that's when it starts acting up, right? No? Does it just like acting up whenever? Well, the pinging doesn't even affect me right now because I shouldn't be carrying any cargo with me. Sam, did you find our missing cargo? Huh, it looks like someone's carrying it around. Okay, I thought I wasn't carrying any cargo and I don't think I am, but they've detected me. Yeah, I think they're coming to get me, not the cargo. Remember a long time ago, we were coming into a mule territory without cargo and it was okay, but this time, they highlighted my shape. Are you all coming over then? Hmm. We all start somewhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't even know where you are! Ooh! Mm, they're a little bit too far for my shots to connect, but the person carrying the cargo is right there. Don't even have to find it in a post box this time. Sit still! Maybe a shotgun now would be a good idea. Anybody want to come over? I got a truck over here. You want to play? If we had a sniper rifle, then that would be even better. Okay, are you done with the alarm? Oh! Hold up. Shotgun. Y'all want to come over? That person's a little bit too far away for the shotgun. Let's switch back to the normal gun then. How do we get more bullets for this, by the way? Do we just go back to a private house as usual? Private room. God, my aim is garbage today. That's the nice thing about the bola gun, because all you gotta do is shoot one thing and then just hang tight. But these ones, you gotta shoot a little bit more, or I've been told that getting a headshot will immediately disable them. It's just that my aim is kind of garbage, so getting a headshot is a problem. Are you the driver? Oh, there's my headshot, I guess. They found me so quickly this time. I wonder if they detected me and not the cargo because I got that feature on my Audra deck that made it so I can detect them too. 
Their technology level seems to scale with mine, so that might be why. There you go. I don't know why you're all climbing over the hill and all. I'm right here. Ten more bullets. Oh! Lovely. So two assault rifle clips, which is basically about 240 bullets. That's enough for me to clear out one camp, at least this time. Good. Hopefully the porters will come here and take advantage of all this stuff around here. Especially because this area doesn't have any roads. I'd really love to see porters building some roads here. But I think ever since I came to this area, like, have we ever seen NPC porters? I don't think so. That makes me a little bit sad. So much for the wash tower, huh? There is a memory chip here, which we should get. But the thing that we came here for... Where is it? Right in front of me. Camera. Photographer. I don't think I'm even gonna bother picking up their stuff. We all good? Just gonna make sure I grab that memory chip before we get out of here. How come the BTs never bother the humans anyway? The humans besides me. I'd like to see a BT fight a homo demons or maybe a mule. Stop bothering me all the time. Go bother someone else too. Or maybe they really look at their weather forecasts whenever they set up the camps. Hey, we gotta make sure we do it in an area where there's no rain at all. <laughs> The good thing about... Ooh, Lake Knot City Wash Tower. Was that the one I built in the very beginning? Oh my god. That one was so long ago. I guess the deterioration actually happens pretty slowly. Which is a good thing. There we go. I haven't peed for a long time. How's my bladder doing? It's okay, because I've been peeing inside the private rooms. Ew! <laughs> I'm just doing it on the equipment! What about that box? No, oh, there's no BB for me to make happy. Oh, everything is so lonely without BB. And that wasn't even enough for a mushroom. Okay, well. We came here for the camera and we got it. Not much else we gotta do here. Zipline wise, do we wanna set up a zipline anywhere around here? The closest one is here. Hey, look, somebody built a section of road here. Huh, that's nice. One tiny little section, but it's a start. In this entire area, that might be the only section. <laughs> Maybe because it's next to the distribution center? Cargo for Sam present. Somebody picked up my lost cargo? I bet. Well, a zipline network around this area I don't think is good anymore. If I really do want to build one, I want to build it through the mountain. Cutting from here to the mountaineer, and then just cutting down to mountain knot. I think that would be a lot more useful. Okay. Well, if we have a truck or something, we could drive back quicker. Or maybe we can peek inside their post boxes to make sure there's nothing we want in there. Although at this point, I don't even know what I want sometimes. Ooh, 
Is that the sound of the rain? Lovely. Oh! I'm doing the thing again! Where I forgot to equip my blood bag, right? It's a miracle I didn't die. My lord. Should I use the high capacity one? Nah, I think we're okay. Have a bit of stamina. I probably should have eaten Crypto Bios just now to avoid wasting my blood bag. But it's not like those are hard to come by anyway. Not a big deal. Okay, well, you all have a good rest here. I hope my porter friends come around to take some of your supplies. That would be really nice. Back over there. Thankfully, this mission wasn't too annoying. And the mule camp was pretty close by, too. Now, we never came to a specific agreement, but I'm really hoping that the lady will be willing to connect to the network now. And then after that, I'm not sure how many more people we gotta connect to. Hopefully just a few more, and then we can get BB back. I am back. Here is your photo. Delivering cargo. Got a lot of blood on me. Oh, wow. Thank you. I was afraid I'd never see it again. like it always did. Oh, you don't know what this means to me. I'm happy if you're happy. Now if you'll join us, then that would be even better. Oh. It was my father's idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. And we were right behind him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, the camera would be gone, and all our hard work would have been lost before anyone had a chance to see it. We can't let that happen. The world needs to hear about this. Someone out there will know what it means. So, connect us up. We want to be a part of the UCA. People like you especially need to be part of our network because you gotta have your photos on the cloud so that you don't lose it. And photography itself is a really good way for us to conduct some research too. Assuming that we can take photos of all these things. Because some of the things we've seen, I almost get the impression that photos wouldn't be able to um, record any of it.
That's a big chunk. Good. Shotgun. Riot shotgun. Oh, is that the non-lethal version? You're doing good work here, lady. Thank you. And there is a zip line right outside. I don't know if that's close enough to the other one, though. I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again before too long. I hope so, too. Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contains some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Automatically? Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations, and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer? They couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind. Oh. That it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's files are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. <gasps> it was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that DB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step. I promise. Just one more site. That's all we should need. Good luck. That was a lot of information. Hmm. Sam, I see you received a mail from our mountaineer friend. Seems he's got an order for you. Might be good to give it a look. Okay, I will take a look. That was a lot of information there. Death Stranding, the Death Stranding that we know, might not be the first one of its kind. Oh, but for some reason, all of it gets erased from our history. To the point that we don't really know why it's happening now. And we think it's happening for the first time. Me to the Mountaineer? I can do this by myself, really. But hey, we can do some bot deliveries now on the mountains. That's nice. Why don't we do... Junk Dealer? This is so far away, but it's only 49%. What the heck? I really don't get how these percentages work. It's so strange. Yeah, okay, go here. Charles Kahn. I think we were at like 4.9 stars with him, so that's why I want to choose him. And... Mountain Knot City. I mean, I could deliver these myself, but I'm kind of lazy too, so... The junk dealer? Sure. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. Cartman, my man! I've already been to your lab. If you want me to come to you, we should be able to get there pretty quickly with the zipline network. <laughs> Sorry the music is cutting in and out. Usually by the time we get to a place, it stops, but it's still playing right now. 
Shotgun. Yes. So this is the rubber buckshot one. And this is the lethal buckshot. Which we'll never want to use, right? I'm not sure why they give me this option here. Because they make it a point to say that people dying is a bad thing, but then they give us these lethal weapons. Which I feel like we wouldn't want to do anyway. I'm so dirty. Hey. You're a saint, Sam. Thank you. I thought she was covering up her face on purpose. But it's just part of her little dress. Okay. I will pick up one more to the Mountaineer. Mural fragments lost during delivery. This is close, but... Nah, it's okay. We'll do this one. Premium. Delivery to snowy area, less than 20%. Do we have enough PCCs? Three should be enough. All we gotta do is build one connecting the photographer back to the one that goes all the way up the mountain. And then we should be able to get to Hartman easily. It's gonna be a long zip. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, but we do gotta make sure to get stuff back from the private locker here. Song. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, that's where our PCCs were. And the cargo, too. The doctor, roboticist. Guess I'll pick everything back up. Anything we want to recycle? This is empty, but I can keep it. I don't have to recycle it just yet. A little bit heavy today, but we should be okay. I'm gonna set up the network for the zip line. And then we'll look at the mail. Because I think the Mountaineer had a thing for me. Dad would be proud. I don't think this connects to the one that we saw further away. Then where should I go with this? We have one here. So we'll probably have to build one somewhere around here, this region. And we better hurry up if we don't want to be plagued by the rain. The photographer, Dad would be proud. Dear Sam, I was right about the camera. I'm told the pictures I took were incredible. You see, the paintings of whales and dolphins I discovered in those caves might have been painted by Neanderthals. I don't really understand the significance of it all, but it's definitely what my father was looking for. I don't think I've ever been so happy in my entire life, and it's all because of you. Dad would be happy too, I'm sure of it. Thank you so, so, so much. I know I nearly gave my mom a heart attack, but this proves it was worth it in the end, right? I made a difference for once, and I can do it again. There may be other secrets of the Death Stranding hidden nearby. I'll be more careful this time, but I have to get back out there and find them. I'll be in touch when I do. Earlier, Hartman mentioned something about the Big Five, the Big Five extinction events, and that reminds me back in the very beginning. Remember that cave where we first met Fragile? We looked out in the sky, and there were five half-translucent figures in the sky. So I wonder if that's related. That's also five, but it's like five people, not five events. Me and the wife are good, but need a little something. Dear Sam, my wife is doing great now, and it's all thanks to you. You couldn't have demonstrated more clearly the type of support the UCA has to offer. 
I don't know much about the chiral network, but I know we're a part of it now, and that things are better that way. Oh, I have a friend nearby. I'd like you to deliver something too. Could you drop by when you have the time? I'd appreciate it. Coming right now, buddy. Would it happen to be Hartman? We still haven't gotten the novelist's son yet, unfortunately. I'm not sure if we need something special, or do they just want me to do that one order there? I think they want me to get something from the other mule camp, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, I guess I'll do it. Anyway, let's think about the zip lines here. It's a little bit too far. We are carrying quite a bit today, so try not to run if possible. But I think it's okay to put something on the hills today because we don't plan on getting off this zip line. Still out of range though. I'll take that back for you. Just a tad more. Here. We good? Okay, so I hope people using this in the future won't stop here. Because <laughs> it's no guarantee that if whoever sees this one, they'll also see the other ones I'm seeing here. It'll really depend on how they want to use it. But with this one, I think our network is going to be pretty expansive now. Oh, there's cargo for the Mountaineer right there. Well, while we're here anyway... There's multiple! Can I carry that many? Not on my back, though. Oh, in that case... Can I reorganize my cargo? It's pretty messed up right now. That's a lot of load, 100 kilograms. I'm doing that thing again. It's not good. The one in my hand. Baby milk? Oh, it's for your baby. That's important. Because if I'm using the zipline, then I can't be carrying something in my hand. Milk bottles? Remember how rare it is for babies to be born here. So this is a... Uh, it's a rare baby. Gotta make sure they do okay. But unfortunately, I can't pick up this one. Hmm. Maybe there's another one I can offload that I don't care about as much. Non-lethal assault rifle. Whiskey for the doctor. Climbing anchor. Anything I want to throw away. Maybe I'll put this one back into the grenade pouch. Blood bag. Oh. I can probably throw away my current blood bag. Because this one's kind of used up now. So we'll offload it. Put this one in the utility pouch. And then hopefully we'll be able to pick up the cargo here. <laughs> of course you'd be like that. Can I really not? Just take down the blood bag. And then... Milk bottles. No. This cargo's too big. Mmm, what else do I want to throw away here? Well, I don't want to throw away anything, but I will. Uh, the container spray. We can use this. Yes. Did I get it? Yeah, I got both the lost cargo here.
And then I can just use a spray right now. And the spray is done. So we'll just drop it. And then the non-lethal assault rifle. Can I pick it back up now? Oh, that's another person's. Oh, uh, I was gonna go deliver it, but... Sorry, man. Maybe next time. <laughs> I guess that's that. 